late again. All right? Yep. What have you been up to? Nothing really. How's the pool job going? Um, it's, it's going really well. So I got something else that you might like to try. Something else that might keep you entertained for more than five seconds. What? Fine. Sounds mysterious. You must be new here. Don't worry, I am too. But I've already heard so much about it already. How have you heard about it already? I've been an avid Maxwell fan and devotee for as long as I can remember. What they're doing here is just genius. You know, do you know I, I heard Maxwell is in this building right now. It's probably here. Who's Maxwell? Who's Maxwell? Who's Maxwell? You don't know who Maxwell is? Ah, new recruits. Hello everyone, and welcome to the project. Officially, the goal of the project is the successful manipulation of the individual's cognitive operations through the exploitation of regular subconscious sensory visual patterns. But what does that even mean, eh? Here, our mission is to change people's lives for the better. But hopefully we'll have some fun along the way. Hey eh, kids? And of course, it's all possible thanks to the founder of the project, our leader, the impeccable Dr. Maxwell. Maxwell's an angel among men. The man with a heart as big as his brain. See his wife died in a cyclone, but not before she went mad. And that's saying something. Trapped underneath the falling tree, slowly dehydrated after a dozen hours. God bless Dr. Maxwell! He sees everything. He knows everything. He's in this very building right now. <laughs> the project runs, of course, on Dr. Maxwell's incredible algorithm. The perfect algorithm. The sentient code for everything. Which, I am pleased to announce, has been built into an app and has been installed on all of your phones. Yeah, that's right, bring out your phone, right now. So you're probably wondering what each of you have to do here today. It's simple, do whatever the app says. When the app tells you to do something, you just do it. Follow the app. Follow the app. It's simple, really, and you all get paid handsomely. God bless, Doc. God bless Dr. Maxwell. It's just like a game, so follow the app. Follow the app. Follow the app. Follow the app. And how's Martin? Fine. Could I stay over just for tonight again?
You're early. Am I? Whoops. Well, on time. Shocking enough. So how's work working out? I'm not really sure what we're doing exactly. I just wait for them to tell me to do something. And I do it. What would happen if you didn't? Okay, so we've been watching and we really enjoyed your work out there. Today we're promoting the four of you to a strike team. Now, altering the outside world is all well and good, but if you really want to affect someone in a meaningful way, you've got to get right in there. As Maxwell himself once stated, a person's home is like a physical manifestation of their mind, and the objects inside their houses, it's like synapses in their head. Your goal as a group is to go into the subject's house and tweak those synapses. Philip Dunley. This is your subject. Under no circumstances are you to directly engage with the subject. You're there to manipulate the objects. Keep your distance and the app will give you the details. Follow the app. The app will tell you when to meet outside the subject's house. It will be at a different time each day. You'll watch the subject leave, then move into his house. The app will tell you what objects to move and by precisely how far. You need to take pictures for each day for our scientific records. The brain is a delicate thing. At all times, follow the app. You can't go wrong. And you do it just like that every day. Gah, I can already feel the team spirit. Are you finding places to stay all right? Yeah, of course. Isn't it wonderful? Stepping into someone's home and just fiddling. Touching all their things without them knowing. Just take the picture.
Where's the other guy? Must be late. Still looks the same. So the whole point of this was to affect him in some way, right? I thought we would have seen something change by now. The app's not saying anything. Should we still go in? Stuff the app, let's do this. How would you rate your stress levels uh, on a scale of one to 10? With one being not so stressed and 10 being, well, rather stressed. What? Well, I'm just trying to gauge your stress levels so I can fill out this form here. Like I said, guys, it was all fake. You three have been subject to an experiment. It's called the empathy experiment. See, we made you think that you were manipulating Philip's mind, who's an actor, by the way. We made you believe that you got someone hurt. See, there were cameras everywhere recording everything, and I really need to record your stress levels for the forms. What about James? Who? The other guy who was with us, James. Oh yeah, no, no, he's an actor. He was planted into your team. So the app's fake? Yeah, everything's recorded just for the empathy experiment, which has valuable, valuable research. And that guy who was thrown into the tree? Did you hear what I just said? Everything's fake. Everything's fine. It's okay. He was lying there bleeding. Props, actors, it's, it, it, it's showbiz. For science! It's my fault. All right, look, here, I'll write it down here. Xander felt it was his fault. See, right there, I recorded everything down. So everything's fine, guys, just relax. Go home, guys.
has happened. Don't worry, sir. I've talked to all of them, all company line, told them what's what. Nothing to worry about. This is unacceptable. Why is this happening? Is there a problem with the app? No, no, nothing that we can detect. The app remains faultless. What's the state of the subject? In your control. Totally in your control now, sir. Use it. I do not accept loose ends. And I do not tolerate unpredictabilities. They can't just fire you like that. I think they can. But it seemed to be going so well. Yeah. No. I don't know. I don't think it was very legit. So, back to throwing leads in people's pools then? What? Come on. You know way too much. I see everything. You all right? Perfect. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm waiting for the presentation to start. He must be new here. Don't worry. I am too, but I've already heard so much about it already. How have you heard about it already? Well, I've been an avid Maxwell fan and devotee for as long as I can remember. What they're doing here is just genius. Do you know, I heard Maxwell works in this building. 
Maxwell's probably in this building right now. He's probably here. Hey, hey, you, you can't just go talk. What? Dr. Maxwell. You presume correctly. Please, take a seat. Would you mind indulging me? I usually only get to play Brody here, and it's so dull, because I always win, you see. I see. Should I make the first move? Sure. I hope you'll forgive Mr. Lassington for all that stuff about the empathy experiment. It's what he's instructed to say when things don't go as planned. And it's the first time that's ever happened, you see? I don't suppose you're going to tell me what's really going on? I'll tell you everything. Everything you want to know. And then you'll make me forget. No, that would not be subtle at all. I'll make you not care to remember. So you can control minds, then? And through them, actions. How? An algorithm? Yes, the algorithm. Built on methods put into practice by the Stasi. Life is a cascade, a deafening downpour. Every droplet splashes and multiplies. Everything escalates and complicates. Snowballing until death, cause and effect, action and reaction. Our environment affects us in every moment. Tiny details can produce irreversible effects on a scale of totality. The algorithm knows precisely how. And you put the algorithm in an app? Well, it saves paper, you see. Your move, I believe. So you have complete control over everyone? Well, just in this town for now, and not over everyone yet. But yes, complete control over everything I've wanted control over. Except for one moment. And that brings us to the matter in hand. This morning, you and two other members of your team went to your subject's house. Yes. We do that every day. This was not the right time. This was not at all the right time. You should not have gone there. The app told me to. Follow the app. A blip then. A bug. Some minor contrivance in the algorithm's code. It's of no matter. We have control now. You're using this to control me? Yes, of course. And you really should not have let me go first. Cause and effect, my dear. Cause and effect. I'm leaving. my dear. I'll be seeing you. So the project will benefit you in a way that it does that. Well, let's not pay attention to her. As I was saying, the project will benefit Chanel, are you in there? Yes. I'm not staying. I've just come to grab my things. Can I come in? No. What was that beep? What beep? That beep, just then. Chanel, are you using the app? You can run, but you can't hide.
Still no sign, Mr. Maxwell. We've had everyone on the lookout, and I mean everyone. It, it, it's been the app's primary duty. It's, it's hard to explain to her, but maybe she wandered off into the bush. And by that case, she might be dead. I don't know, I wouldn't worry about it, sir. Keep security tight for another week. I want no one in this building but the new recruits and the already fully controlled. Great news, sir. I just informed that as of today, the project is officially a success. You now have 85% control of Darwin. The nationwide rollout begins next week. Brody, did you do this? You folded the crease. It's not hard. What's wrong with you? Why is this happening now? If I messed with your brain too much, do you require another spell in the mental decontamination chamber? You fold at the crease! Any idea where she is yet? Perhaps enough of the music. We found her, hiding in the bush, just like I said, sir, with nothing but her phone. Well now, bring her in. Now, what must be the state of your brain now you've disobeyed the app for so long? What does it say? To obey me? Are you going to continue to disobey the app? Well, never mind that now. We'll just pop you into one of our MD chambers and have you singing joyous songs of servitude in no time. What are you doing? The app. That's what it is. The algorithm is perfect. Too perfect to be controlled by me. I suppose it's all my fault. I started this. And now we're all just acting out whatever the algorithm wants. You see? Don't you see? It controls thought. It made you think you've won. It's made you think that I'm lying. 
It's made sure that I've known it's beaten me. It's made sure that I'm angry about it. But mercifully, it's letting me die. You think you've won, but you haven't won. You've lost. You've all lost. Swear about it. 